Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can set up your development environment on Windows. In the previous video, we talked about Laravel Valley, which is easy on Mac, but for Windows user, it is a little hard. I got some question about how you can install it on Windows. So in this video, I will show you four alternatives. So make sure you watch all the video because the last solution is my favorite and it is very good for continuous. Like if you are developing your app for a long run, it will be helpful for you. So let's check out the first one. This is Cloudway. So Cloudway is a sponsor of this video and they are a great tool for storing any PHP or Laravel application. Using Cloudway is e very easy. All you have to do is sign up for their service. You can come here, select your application, let's say Laravel, and then you can select your server. They support DigitalOcean, Amazon, as well as Google. And then you will select the size. The next step is deployment and your application will be live. They also support continuous integration. In the future, you can easily scale it. You can update your Laravel app and it is much, much easy. You can check out their service on cloudways.com. So the other solution is Heroku. So Heroku is also a great service. You can store your PHP application here. It is easy. The only thing uh, I don't like about Heroku is um, like viewing database. They give you a database, but it is not MySQL. So that is the only thing like you cannot see the tables. You can find out how you can check the tables, but I couldn't because those are in add-ons. So this is a great article on getting a starting on Heroku. It is really easy. All you have to do is install your app on Heroku. They are going to give you free SSL. So this service is free. They give you free SSL. They can, like you can have up to like five uh, Laravel app running at the same time. And it is good for development. Of course, it is going to be down if you do not have any activities. So while you are developing, it is always up. You can develop your application. The only the other part is like every time you bring any changes to your local environment, you have to deploy it. So that is the difficult part of it. Let's say you bring a changes to your route.php and you have to deploy it to see the changes live. Then your app is going to work on Shopify side. The next option is laravel valley for windows i haven't used this one but this one in in github it has like 500 stores and they claim they have set up laravel valley on windows give them a try if the ssl is working here that's perfect if not then this is not the great solution now i used to develop shopify app on windows and i could configure uh, nginx that they talk about here and it is called ngrock it is like cross-platform, so you can install it on Linux, on Windows, or any other platforms. All they have, like, they can do is, like, they give you, like, a domain for you. The only thing is, like, it is going to be unique unless you purchase it. Like, if you check out the pricing, it is not much. Like, you can pay $5 a month for this one, and then it, it is going to give you a permanent domain for each app that you are creating. Otherwise, the domains are not permanent here. Like, every time it you create uh, an, uh, an app you have to have like a unique domain for that and the last solution it is like having a domain it is important like when you create your app you will need a domain to store your app right also you need a brand it doesn't have to be a domain it's like a subdomain is also fine if you have a domain then you can create a subdomain and then using ftp you can connect it Let's see how easy it is. I'm not going to go through all of this, but I'm going to show you how I used to do this one. It is much easy. You create a subdomain here, and then you will create an FTP account. From here, you go to the FTP, and then you create an account. So now it is going to ask you for all these details, the login details, and from here, you will select the domain also. Let's say I select app.applanet.com. This is one of the old domain I used to use. Now it will point here. Once you create your account, it is going to give you some login like credential. Those login credential can be used in v like VS Code, and you can connect your VS Code with that subdomain. Every time you bring a changes here, it is going to instantly upload it to the server, and that way you don't have to worry about the domain, about the SSL, or anything else. Let's say you purchase a domain, then you have to like purchase an SSL also. You can use like the free SSL, just search for free SSL. The first option that comes here is like SSL for free. They can give you a free valid SSL for three months, which is good for development. I'm using this for some of my 
website that I'm not actively using but if I need the SSL I can quickly use this one it is much easy like every three months you can renew it like 90 days it is a lot now about the FTP account once you create the FTP account how you connect it to VS code that is the important part it is also easy all you have to do is come to the setting and from here you will install an extension I'm going to show you like just search for FTP here and this is like you can see a lot of them let me check out the icons they have I have used some of them but here are the two I am recommending this one is nice I think it was written in Chinese yeah it is very nice you can install this one FTP KR and then all it is going to create a file for you and that file will require three things the host it is going to be the subdomain name the username the password and the root path when you create your FTP account you will have all those details after you enter the, those details here it is going to create the same file in the, your project directory every time you save that changes it is going to upload those details in that environment so that will be a lot easy for you like in future if you bring update for your app it will be easy for you to update in your local environment and it will instantly upload that to the server so that is how you can set up your dev environment or windows i hope it has been informative and i hope you do not have any question i don't want to like windows user to stop watching because in in mac it is a lot easy to set up ssl lara or valley but on windows it is a little difficult so this was like for other alternatives i hope you can set up your environment well otherwise you can comment below this video i can create a video on windows how i set up it using ftp but it is good that you give it a try thank you for watching i will see you in the next video